It's about 6.25. It's gonna be a really hot day today, so I decided to get up pretty early and pull in this tundra. Try to get as much done by noon as I can and uh, just gulp down coffee while I do it. I'm not a morning person. I don't know if you can tell by my face, but I'm not. But I'm even less of a heat advisory person. Much less. So, I make the sacrifice. <laughs> so, as most of you know, I am not the camera person. I'm just just only the main detail person. But I don't usually do those before or after shots for the vehicles. These, these before shots of the vehicle may look a little subpar. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> All right, this is a much more caffeinated and more awake Chrissy here. This video was a little bit different because obviously I don't usually film myself before the process at all. The reason for that is when I'm in work mode, typically I don't talk ever to anybody. <laughs> And that may sound like an exaggeration, but it's honestly not really, unless someone has something to talk to me about. I'm not a chatterbox in the shop. Put in my earbuds, I'm either listening to an audiobook or an audio drama or music or, you know, whatever, and completely in the zone. Filming that early in the morning before getting started on this truck was a little bit different, but honestly not bad. You notice that I am sitting down and writing. The reason for that is I have had the same list of things to do when I detail. Ever since I began detailing for Freedom Wholesale, I've had the exact same list that I go down and sort of scratch off what I've done in the vehicle so far. The reason I do this still is because if I didn't, something would be left undone. Um, and usually on the list, there may be something kind of specific. Like for example, the Corolla that we had, I had to write on my list, clean the trunk. With the truck, obviously you don't have that, but you may have razor blade the windows because there's a sticker. You know, that's just my system and it works really well for me. So this truck was decently dirty, dirt on the door panels and stuff like that, but as far as stains go, it was a lot better than I expected. Definitely no signs of children. That made me happy, it may sound mean, but if a kid's been in the car, man, it's gonna be dirty. And I really, really liked the material in this truck. This is just a super nice truck, you guys. You can tell with the door panels, with the time lapse, you can see the soap that I'm putting on literally disappear in front of your eyes. There is a reason for this. It's called Armor All. All of these door panels were coated in high shine. I actually detest it because it attracts all the dirt. And then when you try to clean it, your soap literally disappears in front of your eyes. And not only that, but whatever sponge touched the Armor All, you put that back in your bucket and suddenly there's no more soap in your bucket either. Okay, so it's day two of working on this truck. I ended up leaving all this stuff out because <laughs> While I was just wrapping up the door panels, Laura was working on this tractor back here and using just loads of brake parts cleaner. And the fumes just got to be too strong. It was already getting really hot. Had to open the doors, turn the AC off, all that kind of stuff. So I was like, nope, we're gonna do something else. Back at it again today. Probably do the seats first because they have a lot less dirt than the door jams typically do. And I try to keep my cleaning solution as clean as possible until I can possibly help it. So I usually do things like door jams and plastic before say the motor because you're gonna get a lot more dirt around. Um, so yep. Also, I apologize for the disjointed sentences. The next morning, I was just as tired as the morning before. <laughs> I am truly not at my best at six o'clock or even seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> The material of the seat literally just drank in all of the soap, all of the cleaning solution, and honestly, it was a little disconcerting. The only thing that made that better was knowing that I was about to attack it with leather treatment. It usually does a really good job of like preserving the material. I actually do leather treatment on vinyl seats sometimes, even though they're technically, you know, quote unquote fake. It still makes them really soft and it still smells amazing. Like as soon as you open the car door, if you smell leather treatment, 
the entire thing is going to smell clean. The dashboard was a little bit dusty, but so much cleaner than it could have been. Because there was armor all in the vehicle, I can assume that it had been cleaned before. So this was definitely not what we would call a heavy clean. There were just some little tiny crevices and things that whoever detailed it before didn't get. Maybe some people would say that that's just very nitpicky and it's not necessary or anything like that. But personally, I feel like even those tiny little places that people may never see matter. And this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Maybe send it to a friend. We'll see you next time in the shop. Bye. If you want to just follow me. I don't have this on like a selfie stick or anything. It's on our tripod, which is like really heavy and really tall. Not that great of an angle. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. It is so hot right now, like so ridiculously hot. You know, the building I'm sitting in recording this is just kind of sweltering. So we have a fan in the background. I know that's gonna make a little bit of noise here. Really sorry about that, but I mean, hey, you do what you gotta do in August, man.